Councils are responsible for managing much of the stormwater infrastructure across Adelaide. This video explains how urban stormwater systems work and what happens when we have rainfall. Rainwater falls on surfaces such as parks, roads, gardens and buildings. Rain runs off roofs, through downpipes and out to the street. A typical stormwater system has two parts that work in tandem. The underground minor pipe system and the overland major road system. Here is a cross section of the underground minor stormwater system. This system transports stormwater during smaller storm events that typically occur once every two to five years. Rainwater is collected in the curb and gutter, which then flows into drains called side entry pits. The water then flows through a network of pipes where it is then discharged out to a creek, river, lake or ocean. When it rains, leaves, rubbish and other debris on the street can be washed into and may block stormwater drains. While street sweeping helps in picking up some rubbish, it cannot pick up everything especially during autumn and winter where there is an increase in the amount of leaf matter on roads and footpaths. Bigger storms with heavier rainfall occur less frequently. However, during these storms, the underground stormwater system fills and reaches its capacity. Stormwater in the gutters may subsequently start to rise and reach levels where the road becomes completely submerged, followed by the council verge. It is during these storms where we may experience temporary flooding of streets as the street becomes the major overland stormwater system. When this happens, it's important to not drive or walk on flooded roads as you cannot see the condition of the road underneath or if there are any obstacles. Driving through flooded streets can also create bow waves that may push water into properties. Where the stormwater flows will depend on the lay of the land, landscape, and the environment. Properties that are on the lower side of the street may potentially be at greater risk of flooding compared to properties on higher ground. Once the rain starts to ease, the minor stormwater system capacity improves and surface stormwater from the street drains away and off the roads. How quickly this happens depends on many factors, including the size of the underground pipes, the gradient of the street and curbing, the gradient of the pipes, whether they are flat grades or steeper grades, any blockages, and the end conditions where the minor system discharges. Some urban stormwater systems along the coast are also influenced by tide levels. Major rain events that coincide with high tides or ocean storm surges impact the minor stormwater system's ability to drain out to sea. Even after the rain has stopped, there may be flooding until the tide level falls. During these times, stormwater may remain or pool in the streets for a longer duration. Likewise, during widespread heavy rains, creek and river levels rise and prevent the minor systems from freely draining, resulting in upstream flooding. Councils are continuing to improve the stormwater systems, including preparing stormwater management plans and upgrading stormwater infrastructure. For more information on the continuous improvements and the precautions and actions you can take to prepare for flooding, visit the SES link below.